everyone, this is Indiana Jack and we're going to do something exciting today and that is we're going to take a look at the brand new Rand McNally TND730. That's the newest trucker unit that they've got, the GPS unit that they have. And so far the reviews are great. Uh, not only am I going to sit here and talk about it, but you're going to actually get to see it in motion how it looks on the road compared to the street signs, compared to what's on the actual GPS itself. And some interesting things, I'm gonna share the other things about it that are new, exciting, the things that I like about it. So hold on, and we're gonna take a ride with a new GPS TND 730. Stand by. You're watching Adventures in Trucking with Indiana Jack. Stay tuned. We're at the Loves here in Little Rock, Arkansas. One of my favorite truck stops, mainly because there's so much room in it. So whenever I come through Little Rock, I like to stay at this particular truck stop. The other ones are way too crowded. believe I've seen a review of a GPS that's actually in motion so that's why we're calling this in motion usually you know we're standing there at a truck stop looking at it and the in the aisle <laughs> uh, comparing it with the Cobra and some of the other ones but you're actually going to get to see this in motion. If we could ever get out here on the road, you kind of have to dodge in fast motion, or in slow motion, rather. Take the entrance to the right on I-30 West. I have mine set to the male voice because I can I can hear that better than the the other voice that they have. I think her name is Samantha. They're both good. You can hear them both, but just for for my hearing, I haven't set to that because I can hear it better. To be honest, sometimes I'm not even listening. It always has. The old old ones also gave us 
the truck speed limit. That's what's prominent there. I would imagine them getting those speed limits from the states is a nightmare. But for the most part, they do a good job at getting the speeds correct. have to say. 
I am going to write to them and ask them to limit this screen that you're seeing right now. I don't need to see that two miles ahead of where I'm actually exiting. One mile is plenty, even a quarter of a mile. I, I guess... Take US 82 to Cal and then keep to the right at 0.3 miles. I guess other drivers have asked for it two miles ahead. I Sometimes it gives you that screen before an interchange. US 82 to Cal. And you think that you're coming up on the interchange that you need, but that's not it. So... You just have to be careful. One thing I love, the new feature down at the bottom, it tells you what lanes to be in. Speed point. I really like that. thing I really like about it is the speed. Man, with the uh, processors getting as small and as fast as they are, everything is so fast, really, really quick. We're going to put in a new location here, Hawkins, Texas. Hawkins, Texas. Then the address, which is... 3265 and we're going to say begin new route it's so fast it's 86 miles and boom we're ready to go it's fast so let's get rolling out of here out of uh Paris, Texas, on our way to a little town called Hawkins, Texas. And you know, the thing about Texas is most of the roads here are truck friendly. I've, I've never met a trucker that didn't like driving in Texas. And that might be one of the reasons. The, the next reason would be that almost all their scales are closed. <laughs> That's a big reason. Because we're all criminals. No, I'm just joking. And notice the blue line on that. We're pretty much following that. Six loose cell. Warning. Truck weight violation. Now that's not really a truck weight violation. The map thinks it is, but it's not. There's a few places. That officially are truck weight violations, but just by a little bit, so you can, it's the only way to get on some property, and that's to cross over the barrier of truck weight violation. And for those of you who don't know, just a bit of trivia, Paris is not only the home of Kimberly Clark, it's also the home of Campbell Soups. I don't think it's the headquarters of Campbell Soups, but they certainly make a lot of soup here in Paris, Texas. But I'm thankful I didn't get a load out of there because they're awfully heavy. Like TX19, TX24.
Some of the other few features are pretty basic. Uh, definitely on all the Rand McNally ones, you have the calculator, which is nice. I use that sometimes. The converter I don't use because I don't go to Canada. I use the notepad, even though my notes didn't make it from my old one to this one. And of course the calendar, I do occasionally use that also. And what I'd like you to notice is that quick speed. It's nice having a uh, system that's so fast, and that's one encouraging thing with this unit, it's so fast. One thing they did was re-engineer the electrical plug there, so it's a little bit more durable than the other ones. I think they had some problems with their other ones, but this one, they've really improved on the design here. But what they didn't include in this unit, which the other ones came with, was an electrical power plug. Now they only give you one power charger for the truck, not a backup power plug that you can plug into AC current, which I used to use as my backup in case this one uh, didn't work. That's not really a problem for me unless uh, the a DC, uh, you know, the cigarette lighter one breaks or something that I'm stuck. I don't have any kind of backup. I wish they would maybe stock those cords in the truck stops because it's a pain. Uh, when that breaks, that's it. I mean, now, if that one breaks, I have no other backup for the power unit. You know what? Thanks for, uh, I, uh, I was going to say, thanks for riding along with me today. And we did do some riding along, but mainly thanks for watching my review today of the brand new Rand McNally TND730. Available in stores now. You have to search for it. It's not in every store yet. I paid about almost $400. What I recommend you do, maybe, to lessen that uh, the sting of the cost, you save up some points on your Loves card or your TA card or whatever truck stop card you use. Maybe save up like two hundred dollars on that, and then you only—it seems like you only have to shell out two hundred dollars. That—that's what I did. I used half of my points. Like I said, thank you for riding along with me and watching today. I'm Indiana Jack. Make sure that you hit subscribe to my channel here so that every time I make a film or a video like this, you'll get that notification. And make sure you watch some of my travel videos too. I'm Indiana Jack. Trucking really is an adventure.